Hello, and this is Insanity Man again. Welcome to the second part of our Hitman video. Everybody will notice this is the third level of the game. But that's okay. The last video shows the second level. The first level was the prologue. I guess that was the prologue, not even the first level. No, we'll just go to the second level. My bad. This is the second level. That's a homeless man. And I thought you could dress up as him since uh, Agent 47 can dress up as people. So I'm looking at him, he's like, oh, he's drinking. No one's gonna miss him. He's a homeless man. I said, shoot him. And I realized you can't dress as him. And this kind of made me sad. So I pulled him. And I realized, fuck. I gotta do this again. My score's in the negatives. Let's do this again now. Uh, Alright. But we're gonna find a way into this uh, this place. I don't know, for some reason it started with me at the checkpoint. After the gate. That's when you walk down the road. Um, John Thano's my cousin. He has his own channel, Thano John Thano123. Go check him out too. So I realized I'm gonna set up the car alarm. I didn't realize later on when I did like a second or third playthrough, apparently there's like a sewer entrance over here. I didn't realize that. But I took this route anyways. So I hit on the car, this guy comes out, he checks out his car. I mean any of us would. I figured, ah, let me just strangle you to death. Just, 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 shh, go sit, go sit, just go sit, go sit. We're gonna drag you by your neck now. Or not. We're dragging you along a dusty road. Oh, what are you gonna do here now? Uh, we couldn't put him anywhere, so I gotta put him in the back of the car, so that way no one really sees him. I see some people over there. I'm lagging you. Uh, I'm not gonna go that direction. That doesn't really seem that smart to go to. Yeah, I really, really I could tell they were starting to like notice me and everything. I'm like, we can't, we can't just have that. We can't. So we go in. Otherwise, there are even more people here. So I said, I figured let's hang it up. There's not really many people over there. So the there's this guy. I don't know what the hell he's doing. I go into the bathroom. I try using the bathroom. That's the thing you're always gonna see. If there's a bathroom in a game, I wanna see if you can use it. If any of you ever played Duke Nukem Forever, that was the one for the 360, hey, you know the one that took like 12 years to come out. Apparently place. you can take <laughs> shit and draw on the wall and fling it. Ever since then, the I've demanded ass. bathrooms be fucking interactable. Huge, it might be ridiculous. Yeah, he's a goddamn mountain it, it might be just outright what the fuck. Crazy. But you know what? I want my bathrooms. I want to be able to at least take a piss if I want to in a bathroom. We will be playing Deadpool the game, and we will experience this. I promise you. I've saw some, seen some. I've seen some amazing clips of that game. So, like, yeah, I get the fucking cowboy hat. I get the gloves, motherfucker. I look good. I'm like that southern like pimp. So you know, it's like this is radio. It's like everybody loves their radio. If anybody here knows that song from like Queen Radio Gaga, all we hear is a Radio Gaga, Radio Boo Boo, Radio Baba. All we hear is Radio Gaga. Yeah, you know, honestly, I love Queen. I you will hear a lot of references of Queen in my videos. There is hey, no question about that. Hey, shut up, electrician. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna climb down here because I didn't realize it. I thought it was like a hole that really went nowhere. Uh, originally, originally I found out I was mistaken. Um, so I'm walking around looking all fly and shit because you know none of you, none of you can touch me. But um. I love the instinct thing. I love the fucking instinct thing. You can see through walls, see where everybody is. It's pretty nice. You, just get, you gotta turn for electricity. Cause, you know, just because. How can I fix that? Look at that! Then my cousin was sitting next to me. He's like, yo, yo, Chris, why, why don't you go get the fucking janitor costume? That way nobody will notice you. I'm like, what janitor costume? He's like, yo, the janitor costume! I'm like, oh, shit. 
okay. Anyway, I have instincts, so I'm like, alright, I gotta go do this. Tell me I snuck down. Tell me I, like, I bent down and walked. No? Okay. There was no need for it. Apparently. It's like, okay, gonna wait my turn. Gonna chill. Like, I want a fucking basement this size. Did I just take the bottle instead? No, no, I kept the radio, right? Drop the radio. I figured if you dropped the radio, you turned it on, people would hear it. I don't know. I thought later that electric panel could actually electrocute the fucking guy down there. It's fucking hilarious, man. It's fucking hilarious. God's like, la, la, la. He looks like fucking Frankenstein getting electrocuted in a really bad way. It's pretty nice. <laughs> So we find a janitor's costume, so that way we can walk around. Hey, don't worry about me, man. Who told you to worry about my fucking problems, huh? Fucking look away. This ain't none of your goddamn business. So we go down there. I guess we don't. We hang. No, we no, we go down, right? Yeah, we go down. Um Let's see now. Well, what am I doing here? Well, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here. Looks like Agent 47 got drunk. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing, but I got a target and now I'm gonna go after it. You you can't do anything to me. I'll find you and I'll kill you. It's like a drunken taken that's bald. Liam Neeson, if you can if you have ever could hear my words, you are amazing. Do more movies where you are just Kind of low voice, mellow tone, and you kick people's ass. That that would just be pure magical. So we're gonna enter the elevator, just like we're supposed to. Stupid up. Why the hell do I build an elevator like that? Elevator guy go boom. I think I'm falling. If I had an elevator like that, my apartment building, I'd be fucking yelling at everybody. Why did I fix my elevator? You sure are a resourceful son of a bitch. Well, that's why you hired me, right? Ooh, you're approaching the lion's den now. Really? The bugs you encountered are gonna have the eighth floor completely under lockdown. That sounds pretty now, cool. Now, Blake Dexter, he enjoys his privacy. And sneaking into the eighth floor is not gonna be an easy task. And to make matters worse, this is protected by a seriously nasty... Why the hell this family kicks me in the balls? That's just fucking <laughs> funny to watch. Plus, take it seriously, some guys get kicked in the balls. So you should probably look to get off at a lower floor and look for a more subtle entry point. But what am I saying? A pro like you, you probably got the whole thing figured out, don't you? Alright. I had an idea. I've seen somebody plays before. I didn't never, I never played those before. So I'm like, okay, what am I gonna go do here right now? Stairwell's secure. Uh huh. I realized there's a speaker. And there is a fucking, we call it, uh, fucking New Jersey type of guy. Looks like a Guido motherfucker. New Jersey has invaded Hitman. Somebody please pull the cyanide out. So we're just walking on a ledge. Because we're walking on high hopes that we won't be found. That we will kill everyone in our sight yep yep that's what i do so we're just wow. walking so i guess she found it weird that janner walked through a window and it's like who wouldn't find that all of a sudden you're talking to somebody for a good five ten minutes and then janner just walks through a window i find it a little bit weird too she's doing her job but there's gonna be some instance where like how did he not see you Alright, so they're hunting me, and I said, nah, fuck this. I'm just gonna restart this. I wanted to do this without being found. Originally. I want to do this again. Um, so yeah. We're doing it again. We're in the elevator again. We're gonna, start, we're gonna restart this part of the level again. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna try to do this really stealth-like. We're really gonna do this Agent 47 type. I don't know why the hell I didn't take the radio with me. Oh, probably because they're playing shit music already. Ow. What's this music? I happily pulled the fucking plug in that music. 
Stop your shit. What? what? So I'm like waiting. I'm like, come on. Come on, come check the speaker. Come on. I want to go through the fucking door. Don't you care about your music, man? It's for the music. Hello? See, I was about to strangle him. I was going to strangle him. And then I realized, nah, I'm not going to waste my fucking time with this goddamn Guido fuck. I'm just going to walk right through. Yo, nice pad, asshole. So, uh, yeah. We're going to walk up the stairs now. And what we're going to do is, we're going to try and go through a window. And this is the part where I fuck up so much. This is going to take a little while. This is just... I don't understand. Like, I did the whole stealth thing right. I got up here pretty quick. I think I did a pretty good job so far. So I just climbed through. I'm like, oh, it's nothing. Who the fuck just saw me? How the fuck do you recognize me? How do you know who I am? I got in a fist fight with you? Are you fucking serious? Jeff Bridges, stop fucking shooting my ass. I think I fucking need the face. Try that, bitch. So I basically let myself die because I'm like, uh, I just gotta restart it anyways. Let me just go down swinging because I'm not gonna go down by just, just dying, just standing there. Some of you could say, oh, I should hit restart. I should tell you, go punch yourself. So we wait for Jeff Bridges over here. Hey, man. Later. You pull out your light cycle now, bitch. So I'm trying to figure out, what do I do? What? Oh, what do I do? And I realized... I don't know. Seriously, I'm at this point and I'm like, I don't know what the fuck to do! I'm supposed to be doing this stealth! I'm just the janitor! I'm on some level where janitors aren't supposed to be seen! I'm like, okay, I'm gonna sneak up on this guy. And I'm just gonna choke him with my rope. By, like, piano wire shit. I'm like, okay, okay, I got this, 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 it's cool. So, like, I dump his body at the building, uh, at the window, and then I get seen! Where the fuck you come from? Why, why do you gotta mind your, mind your fucking business, man? So all you had to do is mind your fucking business. I get seen again, pulling the body. Not only did they see me next to the dead body, dressed as him, they watched me pulling the body. I think that's one of the fucking worst ways to be found. That's like if you come home and there's a hooker in your house. Somebody pulled 911 to fucking like, you know, to, say, to set you up and everything. And then they find you like putting the hooker in your trunk. So I was like, officer, officer, I can explain this. She was already in my trunk. I don't understand how. It doesn't matter, I have keys in my hand. The dead hooker was already in my trunk. But, um, from there, uh, we're kind of just we're kind of just running around at this point. I have no idea what the fuck to do. I'm trying to make the best of a worse situation here. I'm dressed like some fucking country redneck. How, why are people wearing cowboy hats in the middle of Chicago? We're not near Texas. We're not near our 